Okay, folks, today I'm making homemade ground beef vegetable soup. And uh, it's a pretty simple method that I use, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Don't sweat the small stuff. Keep things simple. And uh, especially on Sundays, forget about the stock market. Forget about all that ails your life. And focus on the little simple things. That's what I like to try to do. And uh, every day, but especially on Sundays, or pick your one day. And Anyway... I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the start of this uh, project. And uh, yeah, then we'll go from there. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, so move my cover. So the way you start out is, see that beautiful setup there? So you want to have some carrots, some onions, lots of carrots, lots of onions, lots of green pepper, and a pound of lean ground beef. So... Cook that on medium heat in your frying pan till the ground beef is well cooked. Not so much you got to worry about the carrots and the and the uh, onions and the celery and the green peppers because once you fire that in the slow cooker, they're going to uh, simmer anyway and, and, and uh, spread their flavor throughout your your soup. As you can see, I'm uh, all about improvising. I got some aluminum pie plates that I'm using for my cover on my frying pan. We'll pause that until the next stage. Okay, now that you got your ground beef all well cooked, and uh, you want to get the grease, as much grease strained off as that as possible. I did have one of those screen strainers. I don't know where the hell that went, so I'm going to have to go without it. So I'm go all I'm going to do is make sure I... I run hot water all over top of my my uh, my cooked uh, ground beef and the vegetables and all that good stuff, and that works just fine because you're going to be cooking it in water anyway as you're making the uh, soup. So do that, and I'll try to do this with one hand. Let that pad out a little bit. A little bit of grease ain't going to hurt you anyway. But anyway, I like to keep get as much strain off of there as possible. So I'm going to give that another whirl here. If you got one of them fancy sprayers in your sink, which I don't, just old school here, you can use that. Okay, so I'm going to get that. As I said, if I had a, that screen strainer, I don't know where it is, but gone anyway. Who knows? It grew legs. So what we're going to do then is just make sure we get as much grease off as possible. Now, I'm going to carry that over to the slow cooker. It don't matter if a little bit drips on the floor. I can always wipe that up. No big deal. Take that off. Dump it in your slow cooker. All right. Now, now you got your soup base. It was all in there. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. Now, you got to take a couple of cups of water. You just gotta, you don't want things to dry out. So, take your water, dump that in your slow cooker. I'm gonna put two cups of water in for now. If I gotta add more later, I will if it dries out. I don't think it will. Okay, so now what you wanna do then is take yourself some some beef broth okay Let's see if I can one hand this baby maybe I can maybe I can okay I'm gonna set that phone camera down here for one second folks bear with me sorry about the okay take the cover off of this jeez my hands are all wet can't do nothing okay so got that on the go I'm gonna lift this back up here now so you're gonna pour your uh, your nice beef broth in there, okay? That gives her some nice nice flavor. Now, looking good, looking good, okay? Now, all kinds of liquid in there, so she's not gonna dry out. No worries about that. So now, what you want to do is get yourself couple of these now I'm not going to add these till a little bit later but when you got about a half hour left to go get yourself three little packets of beef bouillon 
and you're going to add that to your soup. Okay, for now, I'm going to just throw a little shot of, uh, little shot of pepper in there. A little pepper and a little bit of salt. Oh, jeepers. It's a lot of bit of salt. Okay, now, where my you're going to get this, uh, get this doohickey right here. Give that a little stir just to get things started. And there you go. Now, what you want to do, put that cover on your slow cooker. Set that for about Set her on high. I'm going to set this on high for four hours. I guess it is. Yep. And I'm just going to let her rock and roll for four hours. I'm only going to take the cover off once. And that's to put uh, that oxo bullion in. That beef bullion. And uh, that will give her some flavor. Okay. I'm going to flip this back. Eating up a few of these onions that are left over. And... Uh, that's it, folks. I'll put this on pause. Hopefully, hopefully uh, this will pause and I'll be able to show the finished product here when it's done. Don't sweat the small stuff. Okay, folks, so I got the Sunday slow cooker soup, ground beef, vegetable soup all complete. Four hours in the slow cooker. Uh, as I said, about a half hour left to go. Throw in your uh, your bullion, your beef bullion. I put in three packets, and uh, I threw some macaroni mac macaroni noodles in with mine uh, because it helps to thicken it up a little bit. I did that with about a half hour to go as well. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you the results. It's beautiful, man. Beautiful. Right there. Look at that. Scrumptious. Now, if I could only if I could only patent that and sell shares in it and uh, recoup some of my losses in my electrical vehicle stocks. <laughs> anyway, folks, that's all it is about. Don't sweat the small stuff. Can't control everything, but the things you can control, just uh, especially on Sundays, you know, <clears throat> cook that soup, and uh, you can do lots of different things in that four hours, right? Uh, while that's cooking, you can smell it simmering, and you can, uh, you can chase the significant other around the kitchen table for a while while you're smelling it. You can watch some football on TV. Uh, you can just stretch out on the couch and eat cheesies, whatever you want to do. Go outside and chop some firewood. Or what else you can do is, uh, as John Mellencamp says, you can uh, play football with the kids on Sunday. Anyway, folks, don't sweat the small stuff. Can't control the stock market on Sunday. You can't control it any day. So anyway, stop and smell the roses. Sit back and, uh, like I said, stay in the saddle. Don't sweat the small stuff. I hope you enjoy the soup video, and I hope you give it a crack yourself and uh, cook up a batch. Have a great day. That's all I got. Over and out.